I've decided that it is way too nice out to stay inside and watch my computer and code another video, so I'm out here. So today I grabbed my multimedia sketchbook, which you will see, have seen in the video by now. So far, I only have a couple little tests. Experimenting with some gouache, some cow sketches, and that's about it in this. I also brought out my little plein air watercolor kit. Which has some goodies in it. And then my newest plein air kit is for sketching, and I had just gotten this together, and I'm going to do a whole video on that. I don't know, I might start, I think I want to start painting, I don't think I'm going to sketch too much. I don't know if I'm even going to use this sketchbook because I'm going to set that aside. But I am going to use this little guy. So the last sketch I did in this sketchbook was on Penn State campus. When it was really cold and rainy the last day of classes. So it is time to finish this sketchbook because I've had this sketchbook in progress since like last spring. And I may have actually had it longer than that. That may not even be accurate. So it is now 2 o'clock. So it's starting to get some shadow here. The sun just got overcast. It's a nice semi-cloudy day. The horses are out. My midi is back there. That's my miniature horse, Pretty Girl. That is my little sister's miniature horse, Ice. They're out hanging out in the pasture. So even though I'm out here and I have the whole of my backyard to paint and look at and draw, I think I'm actually gonna go with this pot because I really love this flower arrangement. My mom just was doing some gardening this past week and I love this combination. I took some pictures of it because I really like it. Um, it is a white pot so it's gonna be, and there's not much shadows on it, so it's gonna be hard to get, but I think it'll be cute. It's a cute little pot. Now I'm actually going to grab my new favorite pencil, which is this mechanical pencil, and I'll have that link down below. It'll also be in my sketching video coming up, so if you don't catch it now, um, I'll be talking more about this. It's just a regular HB pencil. It's not nothing special. I just really like it. The lead is nothing special. The pencil itself is pretty good. So I'm just going to do a really rough kind of shape here, and it's not going to be exact. I accidentally got too dark of a lead here, as you can see. It's not even like the right shape. But you know what? It's fine. I'm not the best sketcher, and I'm not the best painter, and I'm kind of just learning to deal with that and make as much art as possible to help sharpen my skills because I need to get back into the habit of art. I think I'm gonna erase some of that. I 
And in my um, daily sketching video, I'm going to be talking more about this topic. I think that's going to be it for my sketch. Just want it to be very simple, very light. gonna be hard for you guys to see. So I'm just gonna start with some basic colors. It's a little bit of an awkward angle because I'm sitting and you're kind of like right beside me. But I'm taking some of the neutral tint here, which is neutral tint from Daniel and Smith. I'm gonna take a little bit of Van Dyke Brown. And I'm just gonna go straight in with a little bit of a shadow and I'm not being too picky about this painting I'm just gonna go in and try to enjoy myself a little bit any practice is good practice so I haven't been in this sketchbook for several months a couple months so just want to get the essence of the round shape And I'm by no means am I an expert in this because I still consider myself a learning artist as I think most people do. More so because I'm a college student now. The green that I'm pulling here is the rich green gold from Daniel and Smith. And this green, this um, rich green gold from Daniel Smith is awesome because it's a great, transparent, really bright, vibrant green. And I really like it for foliage and leaves and it's just really pretty. You can see I'm not being very picky with where this is going. I do want to leave areas where those little white flowers are but not too much. It's also these beautiful pink leaves and I don't remember the name of that plant. My mother would know, but I don't. <laughs> As I'm sure you guys have seen, I don't have much of a green thumb. But I'm working on it. I want to give them a nice warm purpley color. There is green in them. Like out of frame here. There we go. So since it's a white pot, it's kind of hard to figure out where things are gonna go. And I'm actually gonna try to oops, that was way too much. Way too much. I'm actually gonna try to create a nice little background. With some of this mixture just to add some contrast because right now there really isn't much and I want to carve out some negative space and I don't have all of the leaves in place here but that's okay I just really like the sketchiness that is in this part. I'm 
And then we're gonna paint all the way down there because I like how that's looking. Nice and neutral. I made a mistake. Blow it in a little bit. That's fine. It's all right. I'm gonna keep my paper towel out for now. No. As I was saying, I'm gonna go back in and do some of the dirt. Sorry, I think I just pushed you. Surprisingly not very buggy, but you know what, I'm not going to complain. So that's what I have so far. Very light, not a lot of color yet. Just waiting for some other layers to dry before I go back in. I'm gonna go on top of some of the background with more pure cerulean blue that I have here. Just because I think it'll look a little better with some more definition, some more color in there. Really gotta work on those flowers though. The flowers look nothing like they actually do, but that's okay. That's fine. You know, gotta, gotta work with what you got. So I really don't want to mess these up because they're really nice and bright. I'm going to drop just a little bit of green in there. Oop, there it is. Man, that really brightened it up, didn't it? Okay, final stretch. This is what I have so far. Looking pretty cute. I do want to push the brightness and some of the negative space here in the flowers because it's really undefined. And I definitely need a darker green. So I'm gonna have to move to the other side here. Lovely green. I move it so I don't have to crane so much. too saturated for the first layer. I'm just going to blot it just a little bit. There, I like that better. So I think I'm going to water down this green and then use it watered down on a little bit. There we go. And if I need a little saturation, I'm going with the tip of that. I'm 
into a blue or green and go in that's the chicken in case you're wondering I want to get in there and interrupt it again by a chicken <laughs> we get in these layers oops let's not mix that After this green is mostly dry, I'm going to go back in with the brown where the um, soil is and darken it because it's, the value is way off. So I'm going to start mixing that now. That's starting to look much better. So I think what I'm going to do now is go in just with a little bit of this. Give this a nice little outline. I'm going to use the tiny side of the brush for this. Just a little bit of a little something, something to the edge of that. Hard to do because it's not dark. It's not very dark. I don't like that actually. Light that one. Then I'm going to go in with my cerulean background mixture. I just want to define a couple of these nice little edges with some of the blue. Negative space is a great way to add contrast and really define a shape. I find that it's extremely helpful, especially when it comes to this kind of stuff. I don't usually paint floral stuff because I find it very difficult for me personally but negative space helps do that a lot sometimes all you need is a little bit of an edge somewhere where the negative space is to really carve out a shape and lastly I do want to Add a little more of these little peach touches because I really love this color. It's really cute. Cute. I like it. I don't know how good the sound is going to be because it's outside. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this cerulean blue mix. Oops, that's really dark. Well, that'll work. I'm going to go ahead and sign it. That was a really big sign, but that's fine. <laughs> it's really hard to sign small for me. So that's, that's going to be the finished piece. I think that looks pretty good. Pretty good.